Welcome back, everybody. Muni bonds taking a hit on rising rates in the first quarter. Issuance fell 8% from the previous year. Borrowing dipped below $100 billion for the first time since early 2020. And my next guest conducted a survey and found that three quarters of Muni investors see negative flows continuing, and two thirds of them are concerned or very concerned about more rate hikes from the Fed. Let's bring in Tom Koslick. He's head of Muni Strategies and Credit at Hilltop. Tom, welcome back. Here's my main question for the investors who are, are wondering if maybe this is an opportunity. How much has the typical yield on offer gone up? Is it is it pretty compelling or still still not? It's I'd say that there's a very compelling argument that's that we can make for uh, municipals across a lot of sectors. Um, one of the indicators that we look at, uh, we look at municipal to corporate ratios. We look at the municipal to treasury ratios and where municipal to treasury ratios are concerned. There's a very strong argument to be made uh, over the last two years. The 10 year MT ratio uh, averaged around 70 percent and uh, over the last 10 years, it averaged around 90 percent. We're at about an 88 percent right now. So uh, the closer that gets to 90, the more attractive these uh, uh, these look. In addition, one of the things that I've been talking about for about two or three months now is on the retail side. I think that as A rated hospitals, uh, the, the yield on A rated hospitals rise above 3 percent. I think that retail money was going to start coming into the market. And sure. uh, those A-rated hospital yields are now uh, over th about 350. Wow. So for hospital yields, maybe three and a half percent. Barron's is kind of thinking the same thing I was talking about. They said muni bonds are now down so much that they're buys again. They're talking about some bonds that have really plunged in price, offering more than four to four and a quarter percent. Of for Do does that sound a little too high for you? How can I distinguish a good credit from a bad credit? Yeah, the, one of the issues, and even where A-rated hospitals are concerned, you know, one of the things is from a credit perspective, the golden age of public finance is continuing. Uh, we really think that the federal money that came in last year is really continuing to help on the uh, tax back and on the revenue s side. But even where those A-rated hospitals are concerned, uh, you got to be careful when you're selecting different credits. Uh, when we're looking at the airport sector or mass transit also, uh, we really like the recovery story still. Uh, I think that it's going to take a little longer than what people think. Uh, vehicle miles traveled and employments. It took years for those to recover after 9-11 and after the Great Recession. And so this recovery story is going to take a little longer than what people, I think, uh, are expecting. Yes, yeah, so that is absolutely true for work from home. We will talk about that theme next time. But for now, like you said, A-rated hospitals, around 3.5%. That's where you'd recommend investors poke around. Tom, thanks again for your time. It's good to see you. Thank you. Tom Koslick with Hilltop Securities. Coming up, multiple states easing cannabis sales restrictions over the next few weeks. What it means for pot stocks next. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Help build America's future with BAM insured Muni bonds. Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 